I'd like to thank the Fiscal Commission for their work and the presentations. Before going over to the next section of the process, I'd like to note if there are any comments or questions from the Assembly. So we'll now proceed to vote the approval of all the reports 2019, 2020, and 2021. And prior to that, I'd like to know if there are any questions from the Assembly regarding what has been presented in this first part of the Assembly. Any questions, any comments? If there are no comments, I propose to proceed to voting of the financial reports, the report of the external auditors, and the fiscal commission report, as well as the annual report of the board of direct of the executive of 2019, 2020, and 2021. And we open the voting process. If anyone has problems or issues with their voting devices, please let us know. LACNIC's staff men are in the room to assist you. While everyone votes, let me clarify something. You might see fluctuations in the number of total votes, and this is because this is the people who are here in the room. Only the people who are present can vote here. So if someone exits, we record that they have left the room, and if the person comes back in, we register their entrance. So the total number of votes is depends on the total number of attendees. This depends on the number of attendees who are present in the room at the moment of voting. Is anyone having issues with voting? There's someone there at the back. And also over here. Please let us know if you're having issues with voting so staff members can help you.
Estamos esperando a que se nos indique que se resolvieron los problemas. So please let us know if nobody's having any issues. Anyone else having issues or whose system is not working? Please raise your hand. Let us know. Anyone else having issues with the voting? So let us now close voting at this moment. The result is 422 votes in favor, 21 abstentions no votes against and 26 did not vote. Total theoretical number 469 people who were entitled to vote. So with this we vote, uh, the motion is voted by a majority and we pass on to item number three. The third order's business is appointment of two members to sign the minutes. I'd like to propose Ariel Grazer and Edmundo Casares to sign the minutes of the meeting. Let us now proceed to voting this motion, and we now open the vote registration system. So please let us know if you're having issues with voting. Please raise your hand.
Ok, muy bien, estamos listos. Are ready? Anyone else was unable to vote with their devices? So let us proceed to closing the vote, the voting, and we'll read out the results. The results of the voting is 407 votes in favor, two against, 45 abstentions, and eight did not vote. 12 against. Okay, so with these results, we approve uh, uh, by a majority and we raise uh, the session at uh, 6 p.m. So we have finished uh, the ordinary assembly and now we'll go to the extraordinary assembly. At 6 p.m. On May the 4th, 2022, we opened the second call of the Extraordinary Assembly of the members of uh, LACNIC. Um, there are 144 members holders of 469 votes. So as there, there is quorum, we now discuss the first item in the order of the day, appointment of a president and secretary of the assembly. I nominate uh, Eduardo Guzman as the president and uh, Eduardo Jimenez Aricho uh, as uh, the uh, secretary. So let's vote. Let's vote. Is there anybody left? Do we have anybody here with technical uh, challenges that has been unable to vote? Ariel, could you vote? And so here we have uh, people with difficulties. Could, could you assist him? Could you raise your hand if you're having trouble?
Muy bien. ¿Alguien más que no haya podido votar? Anybody else that has been unable to vote because of technical difficulties? So now let's close the votes. And here we have the results. 435 votes in favor, 17 abstentions, nobody against, and 25 who didn't vote. Good. So with these votes, then the motion is approved by a majority. So uh, the speaker is uh, the president of the assembly and uh, Eduardo Jimenez Arichaga, the secretary. The second point in the agenda, amendments of uh, items 7, 16, 17, 18, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, and 31 of uh, LACNIC's social uh, bylaws and the proposal for uh, the uh, temporary dis uh, disposition of implementation of the reform. Before listening to Oscar's presentation, let me say, as we said earlier, earlier in the ordinary assembly, uh, LACNIC has evolved a lot uh, in recent years, and it is very different from the one that it was 5, 10, uh, 15 years ago. And some things that were included in the bylaws are no longer uh, relevant, so they could be changed. Others can be improved so that uh, the organization can uh, keep on being uh, excellent, um, uh, excellent uh, with its uh, excellency standards. Uh, and so these were issues that we're considering, we were considering even before the pandemic. Some of them were, we were, were planning to present in the assembly of 2020, but uh, we couldn't because it was, uh, um, we didn't meet. So we continued to work um, during the pandemic to for the, to amend, to develop the amendments of the reform. So everything that we are proposal was uh, debated at length at the board. And we had many advisors, legal advisors and uh, others. So I say all this because all the amendments to the bylaw was thoroughly analyzed and debated. And not with the, in addition to these proposals, we also proposed other things. And so, and uh, in the past, uh, some of them were approved. Uh, so we've been working for many years, and this is the fruit of many years' work. So ask after Oscar presents it, um, when you vote, please clearly understand what you're voting. And if you have any doubts, we can uh, answer that before. So let's uh, see.